Mission Force 96 here with another video review. This time we have the Marvel Legends from the X-Men series Deadpool figure. So yeah, this is definitely the most uh, anticipated figure of the wave for myself and I think for just about everybody, you know, who doesn't love Deadpool? And this figure certainly looked like it delivered. Uh, so let's go over the packaging quickly. Standard packaging, like the yellow uh, theme uh, color scheme. You've got a nice picture of Deadpool on the side there. Face is quite round, but it still looks good. And then Deadpool is, you know, he's always got to be unique, of course. So you have the nice picture of Deadpool right there. You have a little uh, Deadpool, you know, comic book picture saying, I date me. And then, of course, when you look at the rest of the assortment, oh, you have hearts and arrow drawn to Deadpool. I love this, you know, it's fun when the um, toy company embraces the, uh, uh, you know, the third wall breaking self-aware um, Deadpool so very nice let's get on to the actual figure this is a very exciting figure obviously with his movie debut this year he is quite hot this year and uh, and Marvel Legends is taking advantage of that making a figure which is great he is the only one not to include a juggernaut build figure piece um, but in lieu of that he does come with an extreme amount of accessories which is really nice because uh, in past years when they have a figure in a way that doesn't have a build a figure piece usually that's just it you don't have the build a figure piece and uh, and you know you just gotta deal with it um, there isn't usually a compensation with accessories or anything like that so it is really nice to see this guy not come with the build a figure piece and instead come with a ton of stuff which is just awesome Let's get over it. Uh, let's go over it now. Uh, let's start off with the uh, the actual figure itself, and then I'll dive into the accessories here. The figure is quite nice. The standard head sculpt, of course, his mass look uh, does look quite good, as you can see. They do, you know, the face, the um, structure of the face, I think, does look quite nice. You've got the little, I don't know what you'd call that, but little uh, thing that hangs out in the back there. It does look really nice. I love the way it's folded, very natural. Unfortunately, mine does have a black paint spot. Uh, on it very directly which is definitely a huge disappointment um, but it is something that's small and it of course is limited to just mine the eyes they did make it so that the uh, one eye was slightly smaller than the other one it's very big uh, which gives him some expression I would have liked to see some lines in the mouth area uh, he obviously you know is a big talker so it would have been great to actually kind of see that his mouth was open or something um, because just like this it does look a little bit plain however they do give you a second head sculpt which is uh, which definitely makes up expression wise however it's not quite a classic looking Deadpool so uh, so yeah so overall this head sculpt is decent it's, it's actually really good but I would have liked it to, uh, to be slightly better although that might be just me uh, being um too ungrateful. Uh, the body itself is a bucky cap mold so standard mold you do have some um new stuff that's been put on it though uh, considering these these little like uh, wristband things which is nice does look quite good. He does have straps that are attached to katanas um, or katana sle uh, sheaves. Uh, the uh, the straps themselves, I believe that those are the same on uh, Barnes Zemo. Um, but then, of course, these katana uh, straps are, are new. Uh, the belt is new with a holster, a really nicely painted um, Deadpool, you know, um, uh, uh, symbol there. You have a couple grenades and then pouches. He has a leg holster. I believe this leg holster is new. It might be reused from Nick Fury. Not 100% sure. I don't think it is though. And of course it can also uh, hold another uh, gun. The lower legs I believe are completely new with these uh, little guards there. I think that looks quite nice and he does have a knife that can be uh, you know uh, stored there and then some some boots. I believe that the boots are new as well. I mean uh, they do have buckles there with straps that are fully sculpted which does look quite nice. Nice. His costume itself is nice. It's it's it uh, it has quite a lot of black on it. I will say it's not a hundred percent classic Deadpool in my opinion. This looks like more of a slightly moderner uh, type of Deadpool. Um, however, I think that it looks really nice. Uh, but if you do want just a you know very uh, skin tight bodysuit without too many you know attachments to it and mainly red, this one is is you know definitely it, it has a bit of a, a different um, style to it than that. So, uh, but overall, I really do like it. The actual sculpt is very nice. Going over articulation here before we dive into the accessories, he has a ball hinge neck, uh, which the hinge works great. Ball hinge shoulders with a bicep swivel. He has a double hinge elbow, that's about as far as a bend that you're going to get. He has hinge swivel wrist. Um, the little 
pieces here do have a little guard. Um, however, it is a softer rubber, uh, so you can just you know push it out of the way, so no issue there. He has an ab crunch, which can go back this far and can go forward a pretty decent amount. He has a swivel waist, uh, ball joint hips with a thigh swivel, double hinge knees, swivel at the, uh, the calf area, and then a hinge pivoting ankle. So overall, articulation is completely standard for Marvel Legends. However, Marvel Legends standard articulation is really quite good nowadays, so that's great. So now let's dive into the accessories. First of all, the ones that I have him, uh, you know, sporting. He comes with this type of rifle. It's more of a slightly uh, like a futuristic type of weapon, very comic book like, you know, not something realistic. However, it's it's not goofy. So I do like that. You know, even though it's quite big, it's you know, sometimes they give you futuristic weapons that are just goofy. This one isn't uh, isn't like that. It actually does look quite good. He holds it extremely well, very tight fit, which is great, and I really do like that one a lot. The accompanying weapon to that is a smaller one that's a bit more like a pistol, however it does have like a little um cartridge there for the bullets. And overall, it does look quite nice. Both of those uh, are just solidly painted in like a silver, but kind of a bluish, uh, bluish gray, silver type of look. Overall, it is quite nice. I'm not a big fan of this one though. Just design-wise, personally, I don't think that looks great. However, this rifle does look really good. Um, comes with. Uh, two pistols that are identical, and like I showed, they can be stored quite well on the body. They're very nice, and they're also very straight. They're not bent or anything. They feel like a harder plastic than like the soft plastic that you might assume that they'd use, which is awesome. And he holds them quite well as well. And they are just a solid gray. He, the knife that can store on his leg, you've got a black handle, gray blade, and again, it's not bent, which is very nice. Uh, then he comes with a, a massive bazooka. You know, this is very cool. Really do like this. It is a bit bent though. Um, you know, the weapons all seem to be quite straight uh, for Marvel Legends. However, this one is not the case. It is. It does have a bit of a bend there. It kind of bends out and then goes back. It's not super noticeable, but you know, it's obviously there. There is some nice detail on it. You can hold it very well. And um, as, uh, at the, the front of it, it is just a, a hole there where you can insert a um, punching bag, which is kind of neat, you know, and it, it makes it uh, a little bit more friendly for the kitties, I guess, is why they did that. I don't know, it's very neat, you know, it's just, it's it's Deadpool-ish, which is cool, and I do like it, however, uh, if it wasn't removable, I would have been disappointed. However, considering it is removable, it's, it's a nice little bonus, it's not something I'm going to use, however, it is quite nice, I do like it. Also, uh, forgetting to mention this when I went over the actual figure, his right hand is posed to hold weapons uh, with his pinky out. I think that that's great, and you know, this is, this is one of the reasons why I kind of like this pose, is that it really kind of demonstrates his pinky being out. I do like that quite a bit, so uh, I, you know, I am a fan that they did sculpt it that way. Very nice and, you know, fun. Glad that they did that. He comes with, um, of course, his katana blades. You know, the signature Deadpool weapon. He holds them extremely well. His hands are quite tight and can hold the katana even though that they have, uh, you know, thin handles. He can hold them very tightly, which is awesome. Uh, the only issue is some of these accessories, such as um, such as the guns, the, these pistols, and the taco, that if you put in his hand, you are going to be stretching out his fingers, which does lead me to, uh, t to be a bit afraid that maybe if you have him pose uh, with those accessories for quite a long time, um, then when you switch the katanas out, he won't have a great grip on the katanas. Um, like even just taking out the bazooka, um, or the rocket launcher, whatever it's called, uh, his hand is a bit loose. It's it's looser than it, it should be, um, even though he still holds it a decent amount. So there is a bit of a fear of that uh, uh, for me. However, the, the hands are relatively soft, so they should go back into place. However, possibly uh, they will have a looser fit, which is um, unfortunate. But he comes with two of them. They're very nice. They have a nice... Uh, um, gray blade, it's a pretty straight blade, which is great, and then the handle is black with some gray texture in there, and then red diamonds. Very cool, like it a lot. You can store them in his back. Um, the only issue is the blades themselves have a curve to them, and these handles are very straight, so it is kind of hard to push them in, and again, I worry that um, because these are straight, this will kind of misshapen uh, the, the actual blade, and the blades are so straight uh, that I really don't want that to happen, so even though I don't typically display him holding these weapons, I would love to store them on his back, however, I am a bit worried that, the, uh, that they might, um, you know, that they might be uh, bent, which I definitely do not want, so that is disappointing. Whoa, yeah, you can just 
pop his head off like that and throw it across the room. And then you can pop on the, the Wade Wilson uh, head sculpt, his, you know, burnt or, uh, you know, uh, cancer ridden you know a uh, face there uh, overall I it actually is really cool you know this was a fun accessory but not an accessory that I ever expected to use uh, a great amount however this one I prefer over the other one even though it's of course not uh, you know classic Deadpool it's still great I really do like it it has a ton of detail really nice you know it's gross but it's not like it's you know you don't uh, you don't want to like look away when you see this head sculpt so it's not something that like annoys you to look at or anything like that um, but it's still maintains that kind of a gross, you know, um, a harsh factor that it has in the comics. Uh, so it does look quite nice. I love the yellow eyes and then just that, that smile is just golden, you know, it's just perfect. Really nice, perfect for Deadpool and uh, it, it really helps sell some poses a lot better, which I do like a lot. So although the mask looked of, is of course uh, the classic look, I prefer this unmasked head. I think that it's just very cool. I definitely like it a lot. And then probably my favorite accessory is the taco. Very cool. You know, Deadpool is a fan of uh, Mexican food, tacos and chimichangas to be specific. Very nice. Do like it a lot. There's actually a good amount of texture and uh, paint work done to this taco. He can hold it, but again, it will stretch out his hand, though. That's my biggest fear. Um, but I do love this, you know. It's just as fun as when, you know, Spider-Man came with the pizza. Um... So overall, I would say that this is an excellent Deadpool figure. Uh, if it came with a Build-A-Figure piece, this thing would be just so, uh, you know, so packed with stuff and everything, it would be just an insane deal. Without the Build-A-Figure piece, I still think it's a deal because I think that the accessories that he comes with um, equal more than if he had a Build-A-Figure piece. So I still think that this is a better deal uh, than an actual just regular figure with an, uh, a Build-A-Figure piece. So I am quite happy about that. Ton of accessories, extremely fun. The character is super fun, you know, so obviously even if he didn't come with all this stuff, he would still be fun just based on the personality of the character, um, but to give you these accessories to really accentuate the personality of this character is uh, is definitely uh, great, and you know, hats off to Hasbro. They could have definitely easily done this and not given you as much stuff, and people would have still been like, oh, we got a lot of stuff, you know, like the punching bag arm or hand, uh, the two kind of futuristic weapons, and uh, you know, you take out the knife, and th there would still be a ton of stuff. People would still be very happy, yet they still added even more. And a lot of these accessories are new. They are reusing some of these, like with the Walgreens exclusive Punisher. He comes with the bazooka and um, that futuristic uh, smaller gun. Uh, so, you know, they are going to be using these, I, I would assume, in the future again. However, a lot for a lot of these, this is their first time ever in this set, if not all of them. You know, I'm not a, the knife and handguns, they might be from somebody else, but the rest of these, I'm pretty sure, are 100% exclusively new to this Deadpool figure, which is just awesome. Super fun figure, highly recommend it. You don't need me to tell you that though. I'm sure that either you saw this and this was like, oh, this is perfect for me, or you're just like, I'm not a Deadpool fan, don't need it, you know? It's a, it's one of the two, basically. Definitely a great figure, really happy to have it. Probably the best in the wave, but I will be doing a, um, uh, a ranking the wave video where I will show you uh, how I thought of each of these uh, characters, you know, compared to each other. Alright guys, let me know what you guys thought of this figure, and thanks so much for watching.